Hey folks, John Robinson, aka The Hospice Guy. You know, today I want to talk about your legacy that you leave behind. You know, oftentimes I encourage my patients and my families to create memories that will transcend time far beyond our earthly lives. You know, I tell people to journal because the most important thing is writing down your thoughts, your memories, what you did on that day. You know, I took care of a gentleman. His name was Bud Gray. And every day, him and I would do something stupid or he would tell me a story about his family or about his son or about just his life in general. Some things that he didn't share with his family. So after he passed, I gave the journal to his son. And about three years later, we got a call one day saying how much he appreciated what we did for his father. Acting stupid, taking pictures. It was just nice to see that at the end of Bud's life, he was able to have fun. Create memories that really meant something to his son. You know, if you're a parent with young kids... And if you have a life limiting illness, you know what? Don't stop living. Because tomorrow is never promised. Don't put off today, or don't put off tomorrow what you can do today, however that old adage goes. You know, if you have young kids and you're a parent, you know, I often say journal. Maybe do some videotapes. Or if you know your child's birthdays, are going to be coming up to age 18 or 21. You know what? Every year, write them a card with their name on it and what year you want on the envelope so that when they become 18, 16, 15, you can give them a poem, a memory, a happy birthday that you thought more of them than you did yourself on your journey. You know, if you know they're going to get married and someday and you're not going to be here, make a video, write them a poem, write them a letter on that special day about how you would feel on that day if you were here. Or what that makes you feel inside when you think of your little girl, your, your boy, going to get married. Birthdays, um, graduations certain things like that that make a difference in people's lives. You know, I often say this to my families, like I said earlier, tomorrow was never promised. Five minutes from now was never promised. I could turn this off and I could have a heart attack and never be heard from again. That's why you have to take advantage of every living moment that you have and live your life to the fullest. Don't wait to die. You gotta die to live. That's the most, the most important thing. It truly is. You know, do some funny videos. You know, as you're going through this journey, have some parties with your kids. Dress up. Do stupid things. Do things that they'll remember every day of their lives. You know, they're gonna miss you like crazy. And the grief, grief never ends. But it helps when you can think, oh my God, remember when mom did this, remember when dad did this, and we laughed, and even though she was sick and she was dying, or she was on her journey, or dad was on her journey, we did so much. We created so many memories. We, we did things together that we never thought possible. Leave that legacy for your children for your loved ones. Leave that legacy. It is that important. So, with that being said, just take the time to create memories that will live on forever. Journal, write letters, write poems, do videos, buy gifts for every Step along your loved one's journey. Buy a wedding gift. Buy a birthday gift. Maybe even put money aside to maybe buy a car for somebody. Or whatever the case may be. Let them know that you're thinking of them not only 
up until the day you pass, but then you are a memory that lasts forever and ever and ever. And it shows them how much you love them. It really does. Mr. Gray's journal that we wrote, his son keeps it with him to this day, I am sure. And this gentleman was a chancellor at a college. And he cherishes that journal daily. So that being said, don't be afraid to do something different. Step outside of the box. Like I always tell my children when they were growing up. Dare to be different and make each moment, each memory, each heartbeat count. Make it a positive instead of a negative. Well, I'm John Robinson, a.k.a. The Hospice Guy. Visit my site, hospiceguy.com, and uh, who knows? You may find some comfort in some other words that I've said or written, or someone else has said or written in time, once it starts to grow. Have a good day. May God bless. Bye-bye.